Welcome plungers. Welcome plungers. I'm Chase. I'm Chase. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for tapping in. The first car, and I'm gonna do um I'm going to do a top five instead of jumping right into the absolute best car. I want to give you guys a little bit of variety and uh, maybe more cars will line up with your cars. Well, obviously more cars will line up with the cars that people disagree with because there are more cars available to choose from. So the next one is the 1968 33 Stradale Alfa Romeo. This one is $15 million. It comes in at 1,467 pounds. So it's not really too heavy and it's got 774 horsepower and 447 foot pounds of torque Not an insane amount of horsepower not a crazy amount of torque But that weight makes this the absolute best handling car on the list hands down not even a question But it does it lacks top end it, it gets up to about 225 miles an hour on a downhill if you're lucky, I mean, you could probably tune it to a little bit more, but it's not getting anywhere near 270. Next on the list is the 1970 Porsche 917 LH. It is also $15 million. It has 1,191 horsepower, 623 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs in at 2,132 pounds. It is a little bit heavier, well, a lot heavier than the Alfa Romeo, but it's got a considerable amount more horsepower. And I'll just tell you that this one is the fastest, no, this one, this one is good. It's just, it, it fails in the ease of use category. It takes a lot of tweaking to get this dialed in because its weight distribution is 38% to the rear. 38% to the rear, yeah. So, you know, the weight distribution is crazy. So it takes a little bit of finagling to get it right, to dial it in, to drive it properly. So that's where it, it, it does fall lower on the list, but it is crazy fast and it, it's crazy quick, but it's, it's not the easiest car to drive. And the next car on the list is the 1971, number 23, Porsche. 917 to 920. It's also $15 million. Also has 11, the same engine. So it's got the 1191 horsepower and the 623 foot pounds of torque, right? And it comes in at 2,079 pounds. But this one is the fastest on the list. It's got the highest top speed, but again, the ease of use and tuning lowers it even more than the 917 LH because this one happens to drive like a jet ski or a boat or a speed boat. It, it, it seems like it's got a very centering pivot axis of pivot or rotation or whatever. But yeah, it feels it's just wonky. It's a wonky car to drive. It takes some dialing in also like a lot of dialing. And I don't even think I have it fully dialed in yet, but I'm probably gonna have to throw a wing on it and all kinds of craziness to get this thing drivable. It's almost undrivable. And uh, number two on the list, and I'll tell you, I went back and forth between one and two on the list for two reasons. One is that number two on this list is an incredibly good car. Number one on the list, it just couldn't beat number one on the list, even though it excels in handling. It's way better in handling than number one on the list. But number one on the list has much better takeoff, much better um, out of corner speeds and just general speed and it, it's much lighter so that that probably helped it a lot but the last two cars aren't as pricey as the previous three so this number two on the list is the ferrari 512s from 1970. it's three and a half million dollars and again it has the same engine 1191 horsepower 623 foot pounds of torque and this one weighs in at 2176 so it's 100 well it's 97 pounds heavier than the porsche but it just puts the power down better. I guess this comes down to wheelbase and you know, like how the weight is distributed and displacement, whatever. This one is number two and it was, it was very, very, very close. And the best car in the classic racing category is the 1966 Porsche 906 Carrera 6. It's $2 million and it's got the same engine, 1191, 623, but it weighs 1477 so it's only 10 pounds heavier than the alfa romeo but it's got 400 horsepower more 
416 horsepower more. So it's a lot faster. And that's the deciding fact. This is the fastest car. It's the best engine in this category. And it puts it in a frame that weighs little to nothing. And a little note about this car, in real life, the car was actually made out of fiberglass. It wasn't made out of metal and steel. They took all of that stuff out and put the fiberglass in. And its rival in real life was the Ford MK2 in the same category, but that car didn't even come in. Yeah, it was in the top 10, but not the top five, not make the top five. These are the top five and the top one car in the category is the 1966 906 Porsche Carrera. Six. Enjoy, guys. Thanks for tapping in.